Hello people, you're welcome back to another episode of our movie preview and review. It's your favorite girl B. And today guys, I'll be reviewing the movie The Trade. It's a Nollywood blockbuster on Prime Video app. In the early hours of this morning, the latest victim of a vicious kidnapper whose identity we're yet to uncover escaped from the house where she had been held hostage for the past six weeks. This so, movie tells the story of a notoriously cunning kidnapper known by the name Eric who ravaged the southern part of Nigeria for over a decade. Eventually, he undertakes a job that brings the law closer than ever before. This was really a good watch. I liked the story and the way the story was told. Simple but very effective. I liked the film starting and the beautiful cinematography. I liked the blend of Igbo language and English. The movie felt very authentic. No unnecessary action trips. Plot progression was very coherent. Attention to details was good. The makeup and effects was good. I liked the costume and set pieces. For example, those small GSM phones, very nice touch. Acting and casting worked perfectly. Blossom Chuku Jeku gave a stellar performance. I have seen Blossom act different roles over the years. In fact, he is one of my favorite Nollywood actors because I like how he owns his characters. But I must say, I was not sure what to expect from him in this movie. Turns out I was worried for nothing because he brought his A-game and more. Watching this richly nuanced performance from him makes a compelling case for him as one of the all-purpose leading men in Nollywood at the moment. The other actors in this movie really did well. Um, Sean Farquhar, YJ, SL Lamy George, Stan Nze, Gideon Okeke, all of them. This movie is mainly about Eric the Kidnapper and I must say character development was really good. They were able to create a complex and compelling character called Eric. Seeing how he moved between his role as a kidnapper and that of a loving father was, an, was very interesting to watch. I liked the team's address. This movie sheds light on the prevalence of kidnapping in Nigeria today. It shows how corruption and the broken machinery that is the police force constantly enables wickedness in this country. Most importantly, it shows us what we already know, that if the Nigerian police wants to find you, they actually can't. What I like the most about this movie is that they actually gave us an investigation, a logical and plausible investigation. I was very proud. Every scene had a purpose. I was happy when I saw that the printout from the ATM withdrawal scene was the first big breakthrough in the investigation and it led them to the others. On a normal day, you know when a movie does not satisfy the dictate of proper reasoning, I will ask questions like why, how, when, who, but the trade answers all the important questions. They show us how they got information about the high net worth kidnapped victims. We saw how they stopped their targets over a period of time. We saw how they hid their victims. How they ensured their victims could never identify them. How they laundered the money received. We saw all the important information. The movie was focused on showing us a logical process of apprehending the culprit than showing us pointless gunfights and unrealistic action sequences. We do not hear you are surrounded, drop your weapons, and I was so grateful. The life and death of Officer Charles is very symbolic, filled with so much passion and desire for a change. So many young Nigerians get caught in the crossfire and become collateral damage. It was really sad that he died. But I must admit that I do not like the fact that Ali Nu who played the role of ACP Abubakar. Don't get me wrong, this is one of the best performances I have seen from Ali Nuhu, but I just don't think he was best for the role. Also, since he was the main opposing force, I felt that his character build-up was not robust enough. He was supposed to be a legend in the police force, a brilliant and strategic officer, but ACP Abubakar did not look, sound or act right. Someone with more personality and presence would have brought more pizzas to the role than Ali Nuhu. Like I said in the beginning, the trade is a simple movie, it is not fast-paced and it cannot be described as a gripping mystery. But it has its own thrill and appeal. It is a well-written and nicely thought-out movie. It shows that we have powerful real-life stories that remain untold. Stories that can become beautiful movies if properly researched and delivered. Overall, it was really a good watch. Compelling story and memorable performances were matched by great direction and excellent production value. Best movie I've seen this year. In the early hours of this morning, the latest victim of a vicious kidnapper whose identity we're yet to uncover escaped from the house where she had been held hostage for the past six weeks. So, what do we know? Absolutely nothing. We know a lot about how he carries out his operations, but absolutely nothing about the man. Who be that? Who you be? Eric. We don't know where he lives, if he's married, if he has kids. You're my biggest inspiration on the force. I just want to learn 
I want to learn from the best. Kidnappers have terrorized Lagos for the past few years. No trial. Open the door. Collecting a minimum of one million dollars from each of the hostages. I think there's something we're missing because no one can be that careful. What did be that? This morning, I announced a reward of 35 million naira to anyone who comes forward with information that leads to the capture of these criminals. Oh! Now, guy, I will fuck you up. You don't let him. Kill him, man. Calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. All officers in Unit 2 be as alert. The chairman is in the area. I repeat, the chairman is in the area. I've been rating this movie a 9.5 over 10. I'm sure you guys think I have a thing against Hollywood movies. But this movie is proof that I don't have nothing against Hollywood movies. If you're good, if you have good scripts, have good directors, have good actors, do casting, do casting calls. Pick the right people for the job. Don't go and pick people that you feel like will sell the movie more. No, go for competence. Go for competence. That's the one thing I want about Nigerian movies. This movie is amazing, brilliant in every ramification. So don't come and be thinking that we're idiots. You just can cook up something on that week. You bring it out and think we'll just die. No, 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 no. Those times are long gone. We expect more from Nollywood movie, and this movie is proof that Nollywood can do and should do better. With that, guys, I've come to the end of this movie's review and review. Let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. If you have not seen the movie, go on Prime app and watch the movie for yourself. All right, it's still your favorite girl, B. I'll be leaving you guys at this point. If you are not yet following us on our social media handles, please do so right about now. On Instagram, we we'll go by e.com on the score official. For Facebook and YouTube, we we'll go by e.com official. And for Twitter, we we'll go by E-D-O-T-C-O-M-01, all in the workings alphabet. I remain your favorite girl, B. Bye, guys.